Now, every person alive has something called a thyroid gland, which is located around right here in, in this throat area. It's, a, it's like a little butterfly-shaped gland. And what it does is create hormones, which uh, operates the body. Hormones are like little managers that tell people what to do, and little creatures what to do, basically. Now, in Graves' disease, the immune system, which is supposed to be like our best friend, goes to this thyroid and goes, hey, you need to make a whole lot more hormones and get to work. And the thyroid becomes hyperactive. This is called hyperthyroidism. And what this does is speed up a lot of functions in the body. So some of the most common symptoms would be like an increased heart rate or heart pulse. Uh, it can also make someone more irritable, nervous, anxious. Someone can feel some tremors in their hands, can be shaking a little bit. Almost like if someone has way too much coffee. And just like with too much coffee, it could probably impact someone's sleep, make it harder for them to get rest. Now, other symptoms of uh, an overactive thyroid would be unusual weight loss, frequent diarrhea, some unusual sweating, decrease in libido, having brittle hair, and perhaps some thinning of the skin. Next, since the thyroid is like working really, really hard, it can actually get larger in size. So if, you, if someone notices their throat area right here getting a little bit bigger, that could be a warning sign of this health problem. Now the other symptoms, uh, which is going to be a little bit more unusual, doesn't really happen all that time, all that much, would be a pain in someone's eyes as the back of it gets all inflamed. And this could, of course, impact someone's eyesight in a negative way, or maybe not. Uh, also, strangely enough, uh, smoking cigarettes actually increases the risk of this happening. Health, health experts aren't really sure why this happens, but it has probably has something to do with the immune system attacking the eyes. <laughs> uh, next, a person's skin could get all red and, and uh, thick, and uh, this can happen anywhere in the body, but it usually happens on the top of someone's feet, as well as the bottom of somebody's legs. The good news about this is that uh, it's not really painful, and actually goes away on its own. It's just a little bit weird and unusual, and <laughs> again, health experts aren't sure why it happens, but uh, something to do with the immune system. Now, if you're wondering what causes this problem, one of the main ones would be like an injury. So if someone hits you in your throat or something, you get like an accident, it could damage it and bring it about it. So basically protect your neck and your throat area. Also, uh, smoking tobacco increases the risk, as well as pretty much every disease increases the risk of. So uh, I know life can be stressful sometimes, and believe me. <laughs> uh, so you just want to try something else if you're stressed out and smoking. There's many other better ideas, like chewing gum. Now, if you want to prevent this problem, there's actually a lot of ways you can do it, besides the ones I talked about. But there's a lot of herbal remedies that can actually really, really help your health and decrease the chance of you getting Graves' disease. Anything that reduces inflammation can help. Now, inflammation is basically when the immune system attacks itself. And that's what the disease, disease is all about, right? So one great idea would be something like ginger. Look into that. The omega-3 is a fantastic herb you should definitely take. Well, it's not a herb. It's actually a fat, good fat. Another one would be turmeric. Great choice. Now, also, you should definitely be taking a, a good multivitamin. The fact is your, vi your body needs vitamins to operate correctly. If you're deficient in just one, I mean, it could really hurt your health. Just to give you one idea on this, if, so, if a lady, if a woman is pregnant or expecting to be pregnant and she's deficient in folic acid, it can increase her chance of giving birth to a child with a neural tube defect by 70%, around that much. Now, a neural tube defect is when a baby has brain and spinal problems and usually results in death. It's very sad, but that's the reality of the situation. Now, if you're just relying on food to get these supplements, uh, I think that's a big mistake. Uh, the reason why is that the, our food simply doesn't have the vitamins or nutrients like it used to. So a lot of reasons for this. One would be because they use a lot of chemicals in farming. It could be the, uh, the you know, the shipping the food to long places. It's staying on store shelves every second. It loses vitamins. Cooking. So it's not worth gambling. Now before you go out and start buying a bunch of dietary supplements to improve your health, which is a great thing to do, there are some things you should be aware of. For starters, the sad truth is, many countries, government agencies don't really ensure these products are safe before they're sold to consumers. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for this, but the big one is they don't have the resources and time. So the real question is, how do you know that next supplement you're going to buy is actually going to do you more good than bad? 
how do you know it actually even contains the ingredients that's listed on the label? I mean, the fact is, you really don't. Um, now, to help you, I'm sure you're a busy person. I've actually created a guide that I feel can really help many people in the whole process of going out there and buying these supplement products. Now, just a few things you'll learn in this guide will be help you to identify a good, healthy supplement brand from a risky one and some of the red flags about uh, risky choices that you may not be aware of. It does simplify herbal remedies out there too and goes over some herbal products that actually do you more damage than good that you may not be even aware of. And some of these herbal products that are pretty bad for your health are actually everyday items like tea. So it's great to know about. It also explains the role of government agencies and what they do to hold regulate the industry, which is fascinating, I think, and provide some online resources to make your job even easier. Oh, and in case I do forget, this guide is completely free. So you'd be happy to know that it's not going to cost you anything, except a little bit of your time, which is definitely worth it. And you can actually learn more, and you can check out this guide by simply clicking on the link uh, right below this video that I made you, right there. Well, I really appreciate your time. I hope uh, you learned a few things that will help you in the future. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.